Hey guys, Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today I'm going to be working on changing out the busted springs on my garage door. Alright, so before we can even think about installing new springs, we need to get rid of these old ones and we need to measure them and get some new ones ordered. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to unleash, uh, release the tension on this because that one's already broken and I don't need to worry about it. And then we'll get them measured and then I can get some new ones purchased and then we can go ahead and replace them. Now a quick tip when you're doing this, do not stand directly in front of the bars, stand off to the side. Um, if these things snap back for any reason, it's going to hurt. And take your time while you're doing it. All right, so we're now we got our springs off. We're gonna go ahead and get these measured and get them ordered. So what we need here is we need a measurement from the, this end of the coil to this end of the coil, not the cones. So that for me is 27. Um, and then you're gonna notice a color usually, uh, could be blue, could be yellow. Uh, it's gonna identify the size of the spring here. Uh, this is red, so I wanna make sure it's red. So I've got a red 27 inch, and then I'm also gonna measure the inside diameter here. Um, and that right there, that's two, right? So it's going to be a red 27 with the inside diameter of two. Um, and now I can just go order these and then we'll get the new ones on. Okay, so as you can see, I did get the springs in. Uh, it took three or four days to get them in. Um, and the reason I went online is because they were significantly cheaper than going to a uh, garage door installer local and having them cut. Um, you could do that um, if you need it immediately. I didn't, so I went ahead and did it online. Um, these are the same ones. There's a right and a left hand turn here. Um, they're 225, 227, same as these that I pulled off. Um, I'm all, I also picked up a center bearing here, um, and I'm going to switch that out as well. As long as I get the, as long as I get the um, springs off, there's no harm in changing that out as well. I think this was 9 or 10 bucks. It's pretty inexpensive. So I'm just going to get these prepped and we'll go ahead and get them installed. All right, so one thing I'm going to do before I put the springs on is I'm just going to put a set of vice grips down here or something to clamp down here just in case I over tighten the springs. Um, that way the door won't come up on me and won't move. Alright, so now we got our spring here. And this is going to be a right hand bound spring. Um, you'll see the red right here on the end. That's just going to go over here. So now we're going to put our cable drum on here, and I went ahead and put the cable in first. Alright, so now we're going to go to the other side here. Let me get 
again, this is a left hand. You see, it's got black on the end. connect up our springs here. And I did have to replace this bolt out here um, because the springs were actually a little wider on the end piece. So I did have to replace that. This is 7 16 All right, so now we're just going to take our cable drum, put it over here, all it over, spin it, make sure your cable is in the right spot there, spin it around like that, and just make sure your cable's not hitting anything, but it's taut. As long as I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and take another set of vice grips here. I'm gonna stick them against the wall. i lock this down so the bar doesn't move. Then we'll go tighten up the other side. our springs here. So we want to make sure that's in. We're just going to go up. That's about a quarter turn. And for a seven foot door, we're going to do 31 of these. this, pull this up, pull that out, slowly let it out, and just make sure it holds. And again, I'm off to the side.
So it looks like we're just a little bit too tight. It's pulling the door up. So I'm going to release this just a little bit. Hey guys, thanks again for watching and supporting the channel. As always, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one. We got lots of great content available and more coming out all the time. So make sure you check us out and thanks again.